I'm drafting until my team goes 20 and 0. We're going to complete 20 of the rounds ourselves. Then there's a twist at the end of the draft that I'll explain once we get there. Now it is of the utmost importance that we actually get a high draft pick and we don't pick until the 24th selection. My god. Safe to say the odds don't seem in our favor. Honestly, I think I'm just going to be absolutely wild because there are no quarterbacks that I'm taking with this pick. No shot. I'm just going to go with the guy I think is the biggest difference maker and that my friends is Aaron freaking Donald. Now I'm thinking my second round pick could be running back territory. Like honestly Zach Martin and Travis Kelsey would be wild but I think in what my scheme is going to be this season. CMC is probably the best pick. I mean, even as a running back, he's one of the most valuable players in the entire league, and I expect him to be just as valuable for us. JC Horn goes in the third round. And speaking of the third round, what the heck are we going to do here? There's still 99 overall players left. Like, I really don't feel like I can pass up on such a high overall. Like, we're just trying to go 20, you know, Zach Martin's a 99. Left tackle, arguably, is one of the most important positions in football outside of quarterback, and I think I just talked myself into taking Trent Williams, although this dumb game said I reached. Now, the quarterback position is just not looking good, fellas. I think there's really no difference, unless you guys think I should go ahead and take it, Aaron Rodgers. I don't know if he'd last until round 10, or if I'm lucky for him to be here in round 4. I think I'm just going to be smart, because, you know, quarterback's a pretty important position i'm gonna go and take aaron Rodgers, even though again the game thinks i'm a dumb gm pretty massive talent drop off although there's still superstars everywhere now we do need wide receiver pretty bad and the talent is just not there like there's a massive drop off outside of chris olave so i'm gonna make sure i get a number one receiver and go chris olave hey look the game agrees with me for once now round six i think it might be important we go defense here and why not get somebody to build that secondary around we're gonna grab ourselves the honey badger now the cornerback position has been absolutely decimated so i need to focus my attention elsewhere on defense which i'm looking to add with this pick it's like the best player i've seen available that fits our scheme is probably old dj here which i think i'm just gonna go ahead and pull the trigger which again madden thinks i did good here now with our eighth round pick honestly since it's just staring me in the face why not just add another talented offensive lineman to that left side who the frick care up Madden thinks. And again, Harrison Smith is staring me in the face. We don't have any cornerback so far, so at least we'll have good, reliable safeties. We made it to round 10, and I feel like it's time we focus on defense again. Fellas, the talent at linebacker right now is extremely, extremely grim, and even grimmer at cornerback. Oh my god. I dude. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go with Grady Jarrett and convert him to our left end position. Honestly, can't believe he made it this far. Again, since the man staring me in my face, like Bobby Wagner, I think has the experience to make his way into my starting lineup. And we picked him in the perfect spot. Have to be smart because I only have eight picks remaining. And I think it's time we finally add our number one corner, which is 30 year old Marcus Peters. Hopefully, he's not that bad. Now, should we look to add another receiver? Receiver, there's really not much there. I mean, I think a Nico Collins could be a solid addition at wide receiver, too. Now, we could improve the offensive line a little more. Connor Williams here, no eighth overall center, even though Matt thinks the pick was horrible. I think I need to break down and get an outside linebacker, although he's not the highest of ratings. Taki Taki, hopefully, at least could be productive for us. We also need a starter at left in, and the only guy that even fits my scheme is Denico Audrey. Looks absolutely zero like. Them. I have zero tight ends up to this point, and I think the only guy that even piques my interest here is KDOT. Who is that supposed to be? Now time to add a right outside linebacker and Pete Warner, who I, I kind of can't believe is still available here. A massive, massive two picks remaining. And talk about players I can't believe are still available. Romeo Dubs. I am grabbing him absolutely no questions asked. So we've got to make sure our 20th selection is the best one yet, which I assume it would probably be smart to get a second corner if there's anybody worthy. Makai Blackman's a young stud. I'm gonna go ahead and snatch him up. Now hopefully the front office doesn't completely ruin this team. Now that the draft is over, we still have another chance to improve the squad because I'm allowed to trade every draft pick we own for the next three seasons. 
is. But with that, I only have five total attempts to go 20 and 0. And if I fail, I have to discard whatever the heck I get out of this pack for the absolute bare minimum, even though I could potentially pull a card worth over a million coins. I mean, the offense outside of a few positions is looking super solid. Like, for sure would like to improve the right side of that offensive line. And defense, I mean, it's solid, but missing a little juice. And it's going to be fun to try and make trades with different teams because their squads are completely different. Panay Sewell would be the perfect right tackle. The main question, though, is what is it going to take? How about a first-round pick from 2025? We we'll definitely have some ground to make up here. So two first-round picks definitely starts to entice them a little more. Golly, dude. We might have to move on to a different target so we don't use all of our draft picks on one single player. Maybe Ryan Ramchick is the more realistic option. How about a first round pick from next year? I can work with that. Maybe this is a bit better? Still declined. But third time is a charm as we finally land our starting right tackle. Although it took almost every single draft pick we owned. Now I feel Elijah Bear Tucker would be a pretty nice option to fill in at right guard for us. I don't think he'd be too expensive either. How about just a second round selection? And we're already pretty close. A second and a fourth. And our offensive line's officially complete. Now, if possible, I do think it's pretty freaking important we get ourselves a superstar corner. And now, JC Horn, without a shadow of a doubt, is the best cornerback we have on our roster. Honestly, I just wanted Pat Fryermuth in this deal, but I just yellowed the rest of it because I could. And with my last picks, I got to add ourselves at least one more quality receiver. Now, what are the odds our improved squad here can actually go 20-0. The improvements brought us up to a 90 overall with a 92 defense. But at an 88 overall, the defense is lacking behind the offense a little bit, although there's stars all over the field. I would honestly be the happiest man in the world if we could actually go 17-0 in our very first attempt. 16-1. I am sick to my stomach, bro. I am sick to my freaking stomach. If we lost that game by like three points, I'm gonna cry. We lost lost by a touchdown. We lost to a team that didn't even make the playoffs. God, dude, this team was nasty. If this team couldn't go 17-0, how is this even possible? If we finish the season by winning the Super Bowl and going 19-1, I, I think I'm actually gonna be more sad than happy. God, we actually made it, dude. We actually made it. We had to beat the Eagles. Oh my God, we actually won. A 6-11 team kept us from completing the challenge in season one. If we end the video without completing a challenge, I'm gonna come back to this season, man. It just is proof sometimes the universe is against you. I'm gonna spin this makeshift wheel to decide which team we use next, and we gotta go to New England to take over for the fire Belichick. Also, this time around, we're gonna set the fantasy draft to snake just to change things up. If we can actually get a top pick here and get a top quality quarterback, I'll be the happiest man on this planet. And we get pick number Number six, which I don't know who's still left here. I mean, there's some really, really good receivers. Please tell me there's still a really, really good quarterback. Dak Prescott and two is still available. Dak Prescott's an 89 overall field general. We have Tua, who's an 89 overall field general. I think I'll just default and go with the higher overall quarterback and make sure we get a star this time. But unfortunately, this means we now don't get to pick again until the end of the second round. Probably gonna be nothing but stinkers left. Actually, Zach Martin's still available. Don't mind myself, a 99 overall offensive lineman. Screw what Madden thinks. Now, here in round three, I, I think I might just go with another 99 overall player. Like, it can't be a bad strategy to just take as many 99 club members as humanly possible. Now, here in round four, unfortunately, no more 99 overalls, but I think at this point, it is actually pretty important we go ahead and get ourselves a high-rated running back, because that is is vital in draft. So Josh Jacobs is in fact gonna be the guy, which apparently was an incredible value pick. Here in round five, you can bite me, but I went offensive line again. Round six, it might just be time to go defense. And honestly, I think Cameron Jordan is probably the best fit. Don't really know if I'm liking this draft 
better or worse than last draft. I do want you guys in the comment section below, I want you to vote which draft you think is the best, but we'll continue to add the draft to here with another, you know what? Cameron Hayward's been the top on the board for the last few rounds. I don't care that I've drafted two straight 34 year old players. I'm taking them. And hey, even Madden's got my back here. I'd like to thank Football Head Coach 24 for sponsoring today's video. It's an NFL PA licensed mobile football game that's just like franchise mode. As of right now, I have a pretty solid roster. Like there's still a few positions that I could upgrade, although I don't want to get rid of Will Clap. On defense, I could definitely upgrade at linebacker safety. I could definitely use some better players. Which on the game, you can upgrade your team by opening up packs by playing matches. You can buy players from the transfer market or you can participate in their player trade challenges. But of course I want to open up some packs for you guys. And there's some special packs available that we are going to open. I'm going to go with the Jingle Bells pack here. The offensive guard, maybe it's Joel Batonio. Quality Jingle Bells player. The rating, come on, be something solid. 84, which will probably start for me. We get Quinn. He's the fellow with the iconic belly. Of course, I gotta rip up another pack, though. I wanna get an absolute beast. We get a center this time. Give me a beast, please. Rating is 86, so a higher rated player than last time. We're going to get Tyler Lindenbaum. Let's rip at least one more pack. This time, we get a defensive player and a linebacker, which we do need. Another Jingle Bells player. Give me my highest rating yet. Another 86. So time for my highest rated. Come on. Give me an absolute legend here. We get Denzel Perryman. Couldn't help myself open another one. We get another center. Is this gonna be Tyler Lindenbaum again? That's actually kind of funny. Oh, and on top of that, we got 87 rated AJ Brown. What the f Frick. Since we have some currency left over, why don't I just go ahead and get this Demario Davis? Demario Davis, what a shocker! So now it's time to upgrade the squad. And after all the additions, this is how the offense is looking. Now, how much does our defense improve? Oh, uh, definitely quite a bit. And while we're here, I do want to open the best pack in the store. Tell me it's a high rated 91, bro. That's better than our Demario Davis card. Who's this gonna be? I have no idea. Bobster the Lobster. And on top of that, Oh my god, dude. It's time to get an offensive player. So wide receiver. Come on, give me like a 90 rated. It's another rare gold. Let it be an absolute finger. Could this be AJ Brown again? That would be kind of funny. It's gonna be DeAndre Hopkins. And in the rest of the pack, we get more heat. And before we hop into a game, I do want to see if I need to adjust my tactics at all. Definitely want to be more aggressive. And defensively, I think the only thing I want to change up is since we have some stud linebackers now, I definitely want to blitz more. Finally time to test our new squad out by jumping into a game. I mean, we don't even have the overall advantage. This guy's team is wild. We're kicking a field goal. Did we make it? Well, at least we took the lead there. Oh gosh, now they're pushing down the field and they take the lead. Cooper freaking cup, man. We're pushing, though, to answer right back, and Michael Thomas comes up big. Sure, he ran a slant there. Guys, they score again. This game might finish 95 to 94. We skipped ahead to the end, and we're gonna come out with the 34 to 17 loss. And it even tells me what I could have done differently to possibly win, so I might need to take some advice, make adjustments so I don't lose next time I play. I played another game, and we won 98 to nothing. So, at least I got to do that and it made me feel a little bit better inside but that my friends is football head coach 24 you can play yourself by clicking the link in the description box below to get the app or you can also click the link in the pinned comment below now unfortunately i'm thinking about the fact here that i haven't drafted a receiver and the talent there is abysmal that's just not optimal. So I think I'm just not even going to worry about receiver right now. And the one guy that stands out for me is Tyler Smith. Like offensive line's a streak for me. He's a perfect fit. Like why not just create the best offensive line to ever exist? Now I think I'm just going to simply add the defense here. Grover Stewart's the one that stands out to me the most. Anchor that defensive line. I didn't get a good tight end in the last draft. Why not get one of my favorite tight ends in the entire league? Honestly, can't believe Dalton's still here in the 10th round. Our secondary is an absolute mess, so I think I'm just going to take the highest rated in Quandre Diggs. Talk about a 
mess, bro. That's our wide receiver core. Adam Thielen, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. He's doing well in Carolina, so hopefully he'll do well for us. Honestly, I think Adam on the Patriots is a match made in heaven. I think now it's time to get an anchor on our defense, a leader here in Eric Kendricks. Hopefully it'll be a tackling machine. At this point, I'm just going to continue to add to our strength offensive lineman. We need a solid left tackle, so Cam Robinson's going to be the guy. We need outside linebackers, so I might as well just go with the highest rated guy. He's been an absolute legend for the Raiders. That does not look like an intimidating football player. I mean, at this point, why not add Tim Patrick to the wide receiver core? You know what? I'm going to grab young Kyler Gordon at cornerback, and I might as well take Jordan Hicks, like by far the most talented defensive player left, despite what Madden says. And honestly, because he's still there. At 86 overall team, and we're almost around 20, like, I know he's 31, but I don't care. He's going to score at least 10 touchdowns for us this season. Now time for the ever so important round 20 pick. I'm just going to complete the offensive line and add old Spencer Brown here. I really don't know though how I'm feeling about this draft compared to the last. The team's overall once again comes in at 87 overall, but as you see the defense is lacking behind big time. At least the offense seems pretty deadly, although I still would like to add a receiver. But I think we're going to have to use most of our resources on improving this defense. Specifically at the cornerback position. And we start off by acquiring a legendary corner, although it took a lot. Pretty massive move here as we acquire our brand new starting left outside linebacker and our brand new right tackle. Again, each deal though just takes so many draft picks. And it took probably way more than what it should have, but we did get to add a potential number one receiver. And lastly, I did get to add a little bit to the cornerback position by adding Tariq Johnson. I mean, we did improve the team up to a 90 overall with a 93 offense and we got the defense up to an 87. I mean, Dak throwing the ball to Travis Kelsey, Dalton Kincaid, Mike Williams, Tim Patrick, and Adam Thielen. I think this defense has enough now to hold their own. I just hope this team is just a little bit better than our first attempt so we can actually keep from losing that one game. We fell to 14 and 3, bro. I want to cry. Total of three losses on this season. Each loss by an average of what? Three 3.5 points per game. I mean, we had the league's best offense. Our defense was just dreadful. What the frick? I didn't think it was that bad. Three more attempts remaining, which this time around, we're going to be taking our talents to Los Angeles. I'm sure all the Chargers fans are glad I'm not Brandon Staley. And third time, please be a charm. And we actually get like a top three pick. No, dude, again, we pick all the way back at 24. Oh, well, this is an absolute nightmare. I mean, going Aaron Donald the first time around worked pretty well. We were one game off, so we'll go with Aaron Donald once again. Hopefully, Los Angeles is just a little bit better for him. Now, this time around, I think... I think, oh, this is tough. Do I go receiver? They go so fast. Like, I think the best thing for our team, man, is to go CMC again. I'm not going to do the same exact draft, I promise, but I think CMC's the guy here. And we still have Zach Martin available. Like, do I go Zach Martin again? Do I do this again? He's a 99 rated. He's an anchor of the offensive line. It'd be dumb for the challenge not to. Now, wide receiver, we still have DeAndre Hopkins available. Like, we could all also get a solid wide receiver number one 89 overall is still pretty fantastic i'm hoping this time a deandre hopkins ed receiver can be the difference in that one loss now with their fifth pick i think i'm going to continue to add to offense and go teron armstead here and get ourselves an absolute superstar left tackle now here in the sixth round i can continue to add to the offensive line now at quarterback oh this is a problem. I'm gonna have to settle for like a Jordan Love or a Baker Mayfield or somebody. I mean, I could go Matt Stafford. Like, do I go ahead and take him? He'll, he'll still be here for a while, right? So in the meantime, why don't I just go Levante David and get us a superstar X-Factor at the middle linebacker position. Hopefully he can do some damage for us. Now at the free safety position, he's still available. I think Micah Hyde would be a great addition to our defense. Yes, that's the Micah Hyde from Wish. Now at cornerback, I'm going to go ahead and take one before the talent pool just falls off a cliff. Darius Williams, I think, is going to be 
the guy. He's by far the highest rated corner we drafted yet. I mean, at this point, why don't we just get the Buffalo Bills secondary together? I mean, the Bills safety tandem is one of the best in the league. So here, we're just gonna go ahead and add Jordan Poyer. Again, who's this imposter? Now, next, we're gonna add the anchor on the defensive line and go with Deron Payne here. You know what? This time, why don't we give friggin' Darren Waller a shot? Bro, who is that? Now, I think it's time to add ourselves a quality outside linebacker. Let's snatch up Quincy Williams. I forgot we don't have a quarterback yet. Ah, uh, we might have to trade for one. At this point, that's probably my only option. So we'll focus on some of the other positions for now, which there's still a super quality center still out there available. Corey Lindsley, welcome to Los Angeles. You know what? Why don't we give the big boy Calias Campbell a shot to shine in our defense? At least we have one player that has his actual face in the game. I think this might be another decent opportunity to grab a guy like Marcus Peters. More veteran experience in that secondary. I mean, an offensive lineman above 80 overall at this point in the draft is kind of a steal. So Morgan Moses, I will gladly take you. And we still got Adam Thielen available here round 17. So honestly, I think this is a point where it's great value. Unfortunately, we only have two more picks to make ourselves. Like, do I make a quarterback pick just in case? No, I'm gonna get a left outside linebacker because we haven't drafted one yet and the talent is just not there. We have zero D tackle depth, so it doesn't hurt to add another 80 rated player. At this point, man, I'm just gonna take Raheem Mostert. Like, it can't hurt to have him as your backup running back. Now, with our 20th round pick, gotta make sure we make this one count. Look at all the running backs up there. We haven't selected an outside linebacker yet. Let's just continue the old person's home theme and grab Justin Houston, which apparently is terrible value. And crazy enough, we successfully built our highest rated team yet with an 88 overall, 89 offense, 87 defense. And imagine how much that's going to improve if we can actually trade for a higher rated starting quarterback. And there's still some positions I'd like to tinker with on defense. We got ourselves our quarterback one, and I feel like Kirk Cousins is the perfect guy for our roster. Although it literally took six picks to get him. We stole Jadavion Clowney from the Ravens, who's having a pretty solid season IRL. I was able to complete a deal that added a few different pieces, but it took almost every other pick I had left. Definitely lied, because I was still able to trade for Calvin Ridley, which is a pretty big boost to our receiving core. The moves have officially brought the team up to a 91 overall with a 93 offense and an 89 defense. I mean, the average age of this offense might be 35, but that doesn't mean I don't think this team actually has a realistic shot to go 17-0 during the regular season. If we lose one game again, I am gonna lose my mind. 11-6? Oh, no. Our offense was at least top five caliber, and we had a top five defense. That freaking Kirk Cousins was the problem. And we can't even make the Super Bowl, dude. I'm going backwards. Only two attempts remaining. If it gave me the Cowboys, I know we go 17-0. It gives me the New York Jets. Now, can I actually get a top five pick for once here? And oh my God, it's actually kind of funny. Now, Josh Allen was the last selection, so hopefully there's still a good quarterback left. Best quarterback available is Dak Prescott, Jalen Hurts, Tua. And honestly, I think I think I'm gonna give Tua a shot this time around. Hopefully this isn't a horrible decision. Why don't this time around, I go for Lane Johnson at the right tackle position, even though apparently I horrible pick. Wait, where did Trent Williams come from? Uh, I will definitely take him, but was he just not, not on the board a second ago? Now, with our fourth round pick, since Derrick Henry's still there, and with how important running back is in simulation, we're gonna go with big Derrick Henry. At least 2,000 yards this season. Jason Kelsey is still available, and I think I'm gonna continue building an incredible offensive line. Too bad I can't get his brother. And you know what, dude? Screw it. At this 
this point, let's just make the best offensive line ever. We're gonna get Joseph Thune. I mean, the Honey Badger is still available. 91 at this point is actually pretty insane. So I think he's the smart pick here. We went 16 and one the first time we drafted him. Same thing with DJ here. First time we took him, we went 16 and one. So hey, at least he gave us good luck at least the first time. Why don't I grab a solid defensive end since they're hard to come by and use Grady Jarrett with this selection? Even Madden thinks it was good. I might actually sure up the safety tandem and go with Jordan Poyer with our 10th selection. Back to back good picks. That's a record. The round 11 pick, I think I'm going to go with the young buck Dalton Kincaid. Now we could take Jelani, which I haven't yet today. I mean, he's a great outside linebacker and why not give him a shot to stay in division? Now the only offensive line position we haven't taken yet is right guard and there's still 86 rated Kevin Zeitler just sitting there. I don't care what Madden says. This is incredible value. We do need a middle linebacker though, and I guess I'm gonna go with Josie because he's a scheme fit. And you know what? Let's just go back to bat middle linebackers because we can't. And Adam is still available, so we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves our first wide receiver. Eventually this man is gonna be a part of a 20-0 squad. I haven't selected a single cornerback yet, so Patrick Peterson is gonna be the man to break the ice. Got to make sure I make these last few picks count. We don't have a left in yet, so I could take the young rookie and Will McDonald. Honestly can't believe he made it this far in the draft. Heck, at this point, I guess we'll go ahead and take Casey Hayward, doing the old person's home in the secondary. And since we literally only have one receiver, it would probably be smart to take another one here, which there's not even really any good young talent. So maybe I actually need to look elsewhere. I mean, I don't even have an outside linebacker yet. I don't feel like going Justin Houston again. You know what? We have Kyle Juszczyk still available. Let's go ahead and just grab the best fullback of the entire game. Even Madden thinks fullbacks are super valuable. Now I have to say the final product definitely lacks something here. We have got to trade for some better receivers. Not the best team we built yet. An 87 overall with a 92 offense, but the defense is pretty mid, which along with receiver, we need to upgrade some of these positions on defense. Pretty massive first trade that we make, acquiring Hassan Reddick from the Jets. But the only problem is we used a lot of the good picks that we had because the Jets draft pick pool was already pretty scarce. Next we get our brand new starting left in which is a pretty big upgrade as an 85 overall and somehow some way I was able to sneak in a brand new number one receiver which does bring the team up to a 90 overall with a 93 offense and 87 defense. I mean I like everything on this offense aside from maybe the depth of the wide receiver core and I personally think the defense is pretty solid all around aside from maybe the talent at corner. I just hope we can get a little bit of luck here. I mean, we went 16-1 in the very first season. Like, why couldn't we repeat it again here? This time, I barely made the playoffs, dude. What is going on? I mean, I had the best offense in the entire league. It's my freaking defense letting us down. And we literally got first rounded. I can't believe this is gonna come down to the final attempt. I would just much rather not waste my money on this. Come on, hopefully this team will give me the luck I need. The Philadelphia Eagles. I have got to lock the frick in here because this is my final chance. I would just absolutely love to get the number one overall pick in Patrick Mahomes. And we get the fourth pick this time, which that should mean that Josh Allen is still available. First time I'm able to get Joshua. Mental scenes. Time for our second round round pick. And do I just give Josh Allen Travis Kelsey to throw to? I feel like Josh Allen to Travis Kelsey is not even fair. But I think I'm going to take a step back and possibly go CMC again? Or do I add a guy that's Chris Jones caliber to our defense? Not <laughs> dude, screw it. I think I'm gonna go CMC again. Josh Allen and CMC is not too shabby of a one-two punch to begin things. Now I feel like this might be where I need to respect the defense and take a guy like Chris Jones, which I think is an incredible pick at this point. Now we're again, even with our fourth round pick, there's no reason to take a receiver 
are here. And honestly, I think it would be dumb not to take Trent Williams in the fourth round. He's one of the highest rated players in the entire game. I mean, Cameron Jordan is still available and 88 overall at this point's pretty solid. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the trigger. Hopefully Madden's wrong here. Now, if we're not gonna get a good wide receiver, it might would be smart to go ahead and add a stud tight end for our quarterback to throw to. For weapons on offense so far, Josh Allen, CMC, and Evan Ingram. We've only got one offensive lineman up to this point, and I think the smart thing would be take David Bakhtiari and convert him to right tackle. He could be a good pick if he can stay healthy. Now, I think here's where I'm going to go ahead and grab an outside linebacker. Matthew Milano is going to be the pick. Now, the talent at left outside linebacker is atrocious, so I think I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go with a right outside linebacker, and I guess I'm just going to go with TJ Edwards here since he's the highest rated and he's a great fit. Back to making good picks. Now with our 10th round selection, I think it would be dumb if I didn't go with Jordan Poyer here. I think I'm taking him three straight drafts and his player face scares me every time. Now I think round 11 here is a great spot to get ourselves an incredible right guard. Brandon Scherf is going to be the main man. Love to see offensive linemen with the real game face. Now I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and end this slide. Bobby Wagner as an 88 overall is wild to still be on the board and I will gladly take Bobster the Lobster here. Now at the center position we still have Corey Lindsley available. I mean 87 at this point is super solid so we are going to pull the trigger. I don't get how that's bad value. Now round 14 I'm going to go ahead and get a free safety. We're going to go with Xavier Woods. I mean Kevin is still there. I just can't pass up on a player with his overall in round 16. Now at the right in position, I think I'm gonna go with Ogbania here. I mean, I was trying to hold off as long as I can. Like, I think I'll wait a few more picks. If Adam Thielen's still here next round, I'll draft him for, what, the fourth straight time? I mean, I guess at this point, it wouldn't hurt to add another quality middle linebacker, and we'll go with Josie again. Madden's giving us credit again. Adam is still there. That is insane. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the trigger. All hail King Adam. And I guess it's kind of going to pick itself because we still haven't drafted a corner yet. And I guess Patrick's going to be the man. I feel like there's like four or five guys we've gotten in all five drafts. And now time for the ultimate pick, which I'm actually thinking of being strategic. Drafting Jordan Hicks and converting him to outside linebacker. Now this team comes in at an 88 overall with a 91 offense and 85 defense. Imagine we can trade for two quality receivers. This offense would be unstoppable. I mean, defense has got some studs too, but also got some work to do. And also with this being our final attempt, I'm going to give myself an added bonus here and actually allow for myself to trade some of my existing players away in deals, so bear with me. Our first move, we acquired DJ Moore, and it took a lot, but I think it's going to be worth it. We also improved at the right end position by adding the big boy Josh Sweat. Also improved quite a bit here, wide receiver, adding Odell Beckham Jr. We've also added Xavier. Howard is our new number one corner and we've got our brand new starting free safety and an absolute star in Marcus Williams. Now I don't know if I'll be able to turn any of these last picks into anything useful. I mean it got me freaking Justin Tucker and while we were at it I added one of the highest rated punters in the entire game. So this team gives us our final chance at going 20 and 0. I mean I have to say the unit is solid from top to bottom and this defense consists of some absolute studs. I mean even though I think think we built a pretty solid team. I think we're gonna need an absolute miracle. Here we freaking go, dude. It literally comes all down to this. Here we go, 15 and 2! We actually ended up getting throttled twice by the Bills and the Cardinals. I mean, your boy built the best offense in the entire league and the fifth best defense. How did we lose two games with Josh Allen putting up these numbers? CMC went wild. Wild. DJ Moore and Adam Thielen went wild. We had four receivers with 10 plus touchdowns. I mean, we won a second Super Bowl over one of the teams that beat us. But you guys know what this means. Now I have to 
discard whatever the heck I pull out of this pack for the bare minimum. I could pull a card here that's worth over a million coins. I'm hoping I don't. And we get a 90 rated Jake Browning, which is worth about 80,000 coins. But I'd much rather discard this for 10,000 coins than another card worth over a million coins. But even though we did fail, I can still be proud at least at our first attempt. Now, even though we did fail, hopefully you guys still enjoyed. And it would lift my spirits up quite a bit if you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't even liked the video if you haven't clicked that like button yet but if you did enjoy it you can click right here to watch another video on the channel that i promise you'll enjoy just as much as this one maybe we'll actually complete this challenge